Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Alien Noir, uh, where we last left off. We gotta chase this guy. Running only is an admission of guilt. Him, Just me or these cars chases Wish me luck. are getting more and more extreme as the game progresses. Ah! Should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. No, they don't. They want to be known for their actions. They don't want to be caught. The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. He's being set up. They both... Both of our suspects both claim the same thing. Which means that the guy who probably killed her set them up just like he did with that the other one. about to get picked. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Really? Shoot him. Show me your hand. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. That was an awkward smile. Outstanding job on this, <laughs> gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. It's not him, it's Scott. It just doesn't fit. Are you involved in this? <laughs> he is uh, confiscating evidence that will not be logged conveniently. <laughs> oh, well, that was the end of that one. So I'm going to cut the video off here. No, just kidding. We're going to keep going. Uh, the reason why I didn't stop before is because of the saves in this game. We got five star rating. Dang. That was good. Actually, I think I hit everything. Good. Ah, flashback. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the dog? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Let's go to but says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. Never hear the bastard come. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? Well, Phelps is obviously popular in the army. And I'm sure I've missed a ton of backstory because it automatically shoots to this. Well, so we have a pretty claw mark fingers. Who's obviously drunk in white shoes out in the rain thinking she's all that. And then we have a creepy guy kind of watching her. Good morning, gentlemen. And what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address mm -hmm. is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont <clears throat> Avenue. Why do we always get this? Are there other guys in this room? Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. 
Why you think about other things? It just doesn't yeah, sit right to me. And the fact that we were given no choice means that by now they probably figured someone would probably figure it out. Stop. You have an umbrella? Really? Oh no, not even you. <laughs> you guys look so similar. By morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Ah, California's love of fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to sell. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Gosh darn it, the steering is so touch and go. Any Century Unit, possible 415, Alvera Street Plaza, Unit A, Animal Code 3, identify. 11K, go ahead. 11K, Roger. Citizen reports of 415 at Alvera Street Plaza, 11K is Code 3. Guy with a gun? You're crazy. If I'm crazy, it's your fault. Running around behind my back. How am I supposed to trust you, goddammit? Whoa, sir. I think you ought to calm down. Mind your own goddamn business. Why is everybody always on my case? You've got the gun. Wow. Really? Officer down! Watch it! Oh, come on! Is that scripted? That better be scripted. Get the bastard! Cover me! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. What the heck was that even about? That was just stupid. Car 11K. Code 4 at Alvera Street, but I'll need an ambulance. Shots fired. Suspect is down. Roger on the ambulance, 11K. All units be advised. Code 4 at the Alvera Street Plaza. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. That was just weird. Old guy acted sane, but I think it was clearly insane. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene is secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. But Knock she's over not the head, naked. Then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Hmm. This doesn't follow. No wedding ring. 
No apparent jewelry. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Incidental. Well, for the day's technology, yes. Whoa, those footprints look no like they're above the ground. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. This isn't the same guy. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Not now, Phelps. Oh, wow. We can get someone to ID the body. So we got an oil well. Is that what that is? In LA? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Okay. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Well, truth. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. <laughs> I think he may have had an accident in the war. Oh. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Not now. Not all your, not your head, sure. We just called this place and get a name. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks for your help. Okay. You're already in the car. Now we're ahead the laundry services first. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on there. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Actually, I kind of agree with that. This doesn't fit. Hear the siren. Thank you for pulling over like sane people would do. There we go.
At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks now. <laughs> Please, I have business to run. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Um, two, six, three, green soap dress. This is T. Terrellson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Do I need to use the phone? Because it'd be conveniently there, but... I don't know. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think we should go? So what next? We have a lead. Let's find out what the husband has to say for himself. Why is it always the husband with you? Let's go to the hobo camp. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. Disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow the only lead. These guys can wait. <laughs> Belts, leave him be. Got from the papers. Solved that big case. Wish I could afford that. Oh. Not much help. He says not much help, but. At the same time, he looks closely at it. This is probably his shack right here. Yeah, kinda. Take me to your leader. Hey, Do lights in here? You, you want to run that by me again? Hmm? Do ya? Hmm? Talk about this. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. What, you're a Nord? Heck, we're playing Skyrim now? Jeez. Oh. Last time I checked, this wasn't a Bethesda, yeah, Bethesda game. Whee! Oh, I didn't get any air. What's the fun in that? Are you loaded? Ah! 
That was totally unexpected. for some clues. Oh my god. The ligature marks. What the heck? Just spontaneously run over a fence. Hmm? Take a smarter man than me to connect that. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. <laughs> oh man! Now, as you were. check if she was a regular. And the photo's what down. That's never a good sign. Now. Is there anything else here that I miss? Nope. Her purse is here? Doesn't tell me anything. Well, it could give you some insight, maybe. This isn't what we're looking for. Maybe. If no. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. A boat. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Huh, <laughs> not a cool joke. I think. 
If you'd excuse me, ladies. I doubt it. Another purse? Why do I look she in this went one? Out without her handbag? She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Yeah, Colt seems to think the same guy. I'm not entirely convinced it is. Not... Lars was out in the rain last night. Mmm. Well, we're gonna catch him in I'll a couple of I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. <laughs> can't be anyone who knew her. I'm torn. I'm torn between truth and doubt. Really am. He's looking pretty much straight at me, and his reactions appear to be part of his emotion. He's not looking away in shame. He's looking away in sorrow. I'm gonna go with... Uh, I don't know. Gosh darn it. Well, let me think. White to. They're putting on the husband. He's keeping pretty good eye contact. Yeah, eye contact. And then he immediately breaks it. Whoa. Oh, hello, doubt. For or not. Charles. Did you kill your wife? <laughs> oh my god. This is... No. I didn't kill my wife. And fuck you for suggesting it. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Okay, now I'm going to doubt you. You let your ah, the first one must have been true. Go off on her own. Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue, Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Whoa. I don't have anything to call him on that, though. I'm gonna go with the doubt. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad, I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and... Wet jacket storm didn't show up till night.
Can I comfort dang. my daughters now? Hot dang, this guy's either a really good liar or... Why did you only report your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. <sighs> Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Tarleton. We'll wow, we go butchered to this one, didn't we? Body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to Braj, be given into them your entire life. That's, that's not good. Where's the phone? Where is your phone? Darn it. There, there it is. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks. Okay, well, I guess I am going to go ahead. Appreciate your time, sir. Come over here and see if the game saves. Please save at some point. Or actually, don't, because I'll just redo it off camera and get it right this time. So anyway, thank you uh, very much for watching. <laughs> and by the way, if I do do it, it will probably won't be for a long time. So I'll probably just redo it the way I think I should. And I might actually get some more. Right, it's already happened once or twice, I think. But anyway, I'm going to cut that video off here. So thank you very much for watching. And God bless.